Hello everyone, I'm Julia from vikalinka.com. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we will be making everyone's favorite pasta dish, spaghetti carbonara. When people think of carbonara, they immediately think of rich, cream heavy and calorie heavy dish. It is not actually the case with the original Italian carbonara. It is light and very flavorful. It is also very quick to make. It takes less than 15 minutes to throw together. So keep this dish in mind for the times when you're tired, you don't want to spend hours in the kitchen, but you want something really nice that tastes like comfort food. This dish is for you. Spaghetti carbonara only requires four ingredients that you usually will have in your kitchen. You will need spaghetti, eggs, pancetta or bacon, and Parmesan cheese. Since the sauce is only made with egg yolks and Parmesan cheese, there's a little trick how to make the sauce without scrambling the eggs. So that secret is you actually have to do the mixing off the heat. But enough talking, let's get to it. Spaghetti carbonara is quick, so it's best to get things ready before starting. Prepare the eggs by separating the egg yolks and whites. Beat the yolks with two thirds of the Parmesan cheese to have this part of your recipe ready to go. Boil a pot of water with a good pinch of salt. Throw in the spaghetti and cook it according to the package instructions. Heat a frying pan over medium heat and then when hot, add the pancetta or bacon. Once the pancetta has started cooking, add two whole garlic cloves. Let it all get nice and brown, then remove the garlic. The garlic flavor will have infused the pancetta and oil, so no need to keep it in. Add the cooked pasta to the pan with reserved water. Time to add the egg mixture. I take the pan off the heat for this so the eggs don't get scrambled. Toss it all together until the pasta is coated. Don't worry, you're not eating raw eggs. The residual heat from spaghetti will cook them for you. When all done, top with some freshly ground pepper and some Parmesan cheese. I hope you will give this recipe a try and even if you don't succeed at first, if your eggs scramble, just do it again. You know, you need to practice a little bit. Remember this dish for those nights when you're too tired to cook and for weekends because nobody wants to spend hours in the kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for easy and delicious recipes like this one.